Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses at Centre Christi La Luz. Today we're taking a look at pressure and we've been filming um, these last days for our new series about um, scary things and spooky places and uh, horse eating objects and all kinds of nervousness. And um, of course, a big part of that is about the pressure. You know, when the horse is afraid, he's feeling pressure on him. So in whatever, we mention this in the series, whatever we're doing to, as a solution to that, to always be aware we're not putting pressure on. And I thought this is such a, a big and important topic. It was worth doing just a little short one um, only about that. Because of course, it's not just when the horse is spooking, it's in everything we do. I was giving a lesson the other day and the horse was um, not really wanting to move. And the rider's solution was to put more pressure. Um, and of course, this guy was asking me, you know, should I, may, oh, I was going to get some bigger spurs and can you maybe use the whip on the ground? And when there's resistance and you put more pressure on, you're just going to make more resistance. Um, you know, the same if the horse is not stopping and we think, oh, put a stronger bit, there's pressure there, it's not working, put more pressure. And I know this comes up. I have a friend who has a tack shop and he's often commented to me that, you know, the same people come back again and again buying a different bit, a different controlling advice, device, um, you know, like bigger spurs, whatever. So these are the moments really to notice the pressure and that more pressure is not going to help. It might appear to help as a short term fix, but it's a bit like putting a sticky plaster over an infected wound. You know, you're not getting to the problem. So it's much more interesting to look at why is the horse not going or why is it not working? In the not going case, it was actually because there was too much pressure there already. You know, it was tension in the rider's pelvis and body was preventing the horse from being able to flow freely forward. So it was actually taking all the pressure off. And then we got much more life and energy just by um, really stepping back from the problem, going back to basics. What's going on in the rider's body is have we got just a free forward flow? So, yeah, I think this is an interesting one to look at. When things don't go right, maybe have a think of it through a lens of pressure. You know, there's always all different ways to look at things. When things don't go right, the more different ways we can look at them, the more helpful it can be. So um, looking through a lens or with a focus of the pressure. Where is the pressure? Why is there pressure? How can we make less pressure, you know, for ourselves and our horses? So <laughs> I hope that's a bit useful for you today. Thank you for listening. Keep tuning into the light and we'll see you next time.